Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Fort William. Tonight I'm going to be travelling on this train, the Caledonian Sleeper, from Fort William to Glasgow. Now if you go onto the Caledonian Sleeper website, it doesn't recognise that route. You can only buy cross-border journeys between Scotland and London or vice versa through Caledonian Sleeper. So how did I manage to get a ticket on this train tonight? If you go onto the Avanti West Coast website and look at the 1950 departure from Fort William to Glasgow, it will indicate it's operated by Caledonian Sleeper, but they will not sell you tickets. If you go onto the LNER website, the same thing. It's a Caledonian Sleeper service. They can't sell you tickets between Fort William and Glasgow. So how did I manage this? Well, it was third time lucky. I went onto ScotRail's website and there it is. So I bought a ticket tonight. One slight issue. The fare I bought is £34.51 way, which is an anytime day single. There are no advanced purchase fares on the Caledonian Sleeper between Fort William and Glasgow. And in fact, ScotRail doesn't even indicate this is operated by Caledonian Sleeper. There's no hint whatsoever there's something funny going on the 1950 departure, except for one thing. The terms and conditions on the ticket I bought state that it's valid on any train, earlier trains or on the 1950 departure. However, if you were to buy at the same fare on a ScotRail train, the conditions say it's valid ScotRail services only, and at no point does the ScotRail website indicate that the 1950 is operated by another operator. I wonder if that catches people out. I've got two hours to kill before the departure of the Caledonian sleeper to Glasgow. Um, the journey itself is just over four hours. I'm not going to go to the restaurant car, so I might go and see if I can get some fish and chips while I'm here in Fort William. Decisions, decisions. The geographer on the left appeals to me because I've worked in the travel industry for 40 years. The fish and chip shop on the right also appeals to me. I wonder if they're related to Celtic and Manchester United legend Lou Macari. So I asked a lady behind the counter if there was a connection with Lou Macari, and she said there is, but it's quite a few generations back, and it's not something that they try to milk. But it was interesting because inside the shop, there was a large portrait of their first shop back in the black and white days. It must have been about 1910 or whatever. And it was originally an ice cream parlour. And then they moved on to doing fish and chips. My grandfather was Italian. He came to the UK, started off with an ice cream parlour, moved on to fish and chips. It must be an Italian thing. Another Italian thing is they make good chips. Hmm. Well, that pre-Caledonian sleeper fish and chips was delicious. I'm now going to head back to the station. I was just thinking, it's about an hour before departure. It's still very light. The sun is actually still quite high this far north in Scotland. Uh, however, it is a sleeper service and it will be pitch black by the time we get into Glasgow Central, sorry, Glasgow Queen Street, and that will be at around about quarter past 12. Well, to be honest, I was starting to panic a little bit there. There's been a disruption around the Glasgow area and uh, trains are subject to delays and cancellations. But uh, according to what I can see here, it's getting ready to go. Phew. We can go on now. That's right. Perfect, sir. Okay, thanks Perfect, a lot. Sir, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, I have a rear-facing seat. When traveling by train, I like to see where I'm going, not where I've been. Should I try my challenge now? Yeah, let's do it. This is beautiful Carrara Station, the most remote railway station in the UK. I recently featured this station and area in a video. If you haven't seen this, I'll leave a link below. When the glaciers retreated at the end of the last ice age, around 25,000 years ago, they left glacial till piled into small mounds. These can be found all across Rannoch Moor. And here we are in Glasgow. Okay, one question was answered on the platform at Fort William. They do a ticket check to make sure you have a reserved seat. If you've got one of these anytime day single tickets with ScotRail and you don't have a reserved seat, you're on the wrong train. Um, I didn't get an amenities kit, although I did get a wet seat. There was actually that sign on it saying it was wet and it had just been cleaned. So my 
backside's a bit damp at the moment. Um, there were around about 10 or 11 Americans on board. They had done a day trip from Helmsburg up to Fort William, back to Helmsburg Upper. I'm guessing they were working at Fastlane, but they got amenities kits, so it must have just been me. My mission was an absolute failure. I was trying to get two miniatures, one for myself and one for a mate. Uh, it's a limited edition uh, scotch bottle that was sold out. And I was surprised that there was still so much um, sunlight, you could still see the, the great Scottish scenery up until about uh, Tyndrum. And that was two hours into the journey. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming on this Caledonian sleeper experience. And I'll see you next time.